and look, Georgia sports fans, I'm just going to be honest. I'm, I don't know if I can get excited about – it's like even now looking at Georgia's roster. You're the, still like, well. The, well, and but. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But. Like, yeah. Yeah, I know but we, what if? I know we can win these games. but And I tell you whose fault this whole Georgia curse is. And yeah. my buddy Chase, it's the 7-6, is big time saying there's no curse, Georgia sports curse. Yeah. It's a mindset. I think you, so. You talk the curse into existence. I don't kind think of there's deal. a curse. I don't believe in the superstition type. But – I've heard it said before, and I 100% believe we know who's this curse is. Who's at fault for this curse? Who? Yeah. Izzy, the 1996 <laughs> Olympic mascot. You look at the state of Georgia ever sports since. After, ever since '96. Yeah. Look, you got the Falcons been to four NFC championships, no Super Bowls. The Braves been to six NLCS, no World Series. The Hawks, the damn Hawks, have been to two Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah. No final championships. We don't count the United, the soccer team. I know we probably could, should. We could. Yeah, maybe but we it's could. not Georgia. That's not what you're raised up on. It's newer. Yeah. You know what I mean? And soccer is just not as enthusiastic to but it. But it's a championship brought into the city, so technically couldn't it break the curse? But it didn't. But it how, how didn't it? Yeah. Well, the Braves choked in NLCS the next year after that, two years after that. Was that two, Yeah, that was when you're looking, that was was that nineteen when the Dod, the Dodgers just How smoked. about this? Teams that were in here in nineteen ninety six have felt the curse of Izzy, yeah. the Olympic mascot that was ugly as crap. And <laughs> you know what? I don't It was but, the nineties. Yeah. Everything was weird. Everything was weird in the night like a big <laughs> acid trip for the whole decade. But you gotta think, man, is that the curse? Is that I don't what's know. at fault for all this crap? I've never even thought about that because but think about it. Since that idiot's come around, you know. the Braves won in 95. Yeah. 96, they was up 2-0 in the World Series. So, you got to think. I don't know. I mean, look, the Falcons, I get benefit of the doubt 98 because they ran up against the Broncos. Yeah, that, I watched that game. That was one of the first football games I ever remember watching. And, uh, I mean, Broncos were just better. I was young back the then. Broncos were just better. I man. was like 13, so I was kind of dumb and thinking that yeah. the Falcons got a chance. Now – I, I don't. I don't think I could. It was like my dad in the yeah. Super Bowl when it was twenty-eight to three. My dad's up. Oh, it's over when it was twenty-eight to six. Yeah. I was like, "What do you mean?" It's like he just knew. He's seen this happen enough. And he you felt know, it coming. Yeah, I get that that uh, feeling in my gut, especially if I'm at a game, um, the national championship game. Yeah. I knew at twenty to ten, I was like, "Yeah, we're gonna lose." And I just was like, oh, I was just looking at the clock. I never looked at the score. I just kept looking at the clock. Just wanted to be zero. Yeah, because I was like, oh, we're going to lose. Uh, and when DeAndre Baker came off of Tua on third down, like third and 16 or something like that, and didn't get the sack in the third quarter, and that's when I told Scott, we're going to lose. He's like, no way, man. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen this movie so many times. And I've had this feeling so many times. A uh, 06 game. Uh, see if you remember this one, Georgia, Tennessee. Georgia's up at halftime. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Joe T, JT through whole Joe Terzinski game. Yeah. Oh, I remember at halftime I had just that horrible feeling <laughs> What's about the final what, score of that. Like 52 to 33 yeah. or something. Oh, I had a horrible feeling. <sighs> Hurt. I was like, we were winning and I had this uh, Eric Ainge. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, you just get that feeling, man, and you just can't shake it and you yeah. just know here it comes. That was 2018 LSU. That's what that was. Yeah. yeah that man. beat down was kind of. Man, we 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 stabbed it off long enough. Then yeah. we're just like, okay, come, yeah, come kick our teeth in, and they did. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not as bad as they did in 2019 when Joe yeah. Burrow was in full stride. You know, I actually thought we made improvements in that game in some areas. It's just when there's that many weapons, that was that was, a, that was just a horrible game day experience yeah. for me. I didn't have fun at the SEC championship we had game. <laughs> it was a uh, took freaking forever to get in. Yeah, so it's like missed the first drive almost of the uh, Georgia's first drive. And then let's face it, the start of the fourth quarter the game was over with. So I mean it was just not fun. You know Are you the curse rate? I, I was around in ninety five. I, mean, I, I mean you was here, you was in the stands for Oh, I've been around some title, bad stuff. Right. I've been around some, well Georgia You was wise. in the stands for second and twenty six. Oh I was you yeah. was in the stands for Jalen Hurts. I was in the stands for West Virginia, thirty-eight to thirty-five was, game. Ooh, why you even got to bring that up? Oh, that emotional scar. I, how about the twenty-eight nothing? We came all the way back. Yeah, then a punt. They're going to punt the ball to Georgia, <laughs> and we got all the momentum. DJ Shockley, we're going to take the lead. We're going to win this game. Then a freaking punter runs like twenty yards, gets the first down. 